Yo, so I wanted to take a moment to talk about supporting your friends. And I recently bought a print from a friend that went public with her passion for photography. And while I went to unbox this, I was like, we should talk about just the concept of being a good teammate and supporting your friends overall. So it takes like a lot of courage to just start your own shit. Especially now, because on social media, everybody is just super quick to judge. It's based on like like total, follower count, subscriber count, and just like numbers and stuff like that. And like we're so worried about being judged and it takes a lot of bravery, like I said, to start your own thing. So to take up a new hobby, start a business or a new venture or any of the above, I think that anytime that you can support somebody along the way to help them, like help nudge them along to keep going, that goes, it's immeasurable how far that goes, for real. So, I mean, while I unbox this, wanted to talk about the concept of being a good teammate again because there are a lot of examples in which I could kind of point to. So like, let's say this amazing logo that I love uh, for my business, that was up by my friend Molly and I knew that I wanted to support her and not ask for any discount of any sort. I wanted her to do it because she does amazing work. I know her and I'd rather support her rather than a random on Fiverr, for instance, you know what I mean? So, I mean, other examples, man. I mean, obviously Beatrice. So Beatrice is somebody who I purchased this print off of. And not only did I think it was dope, but I was like, yo, like it would be dope to support as well. Uh, one more example, like let's say the beats that I use in my videos. Um, you know, I got tired of getting like the copyright warnings on YouTube for the instrumentals I would use. So I turned to my boy Francisco who he produces music and I was like, yo, like, could we work together to utilize something and then we can use each other's platforms to kind of spread each other's reach. So listen, I mean, it isn't always about the money in terms of like buying and paying people for stuff if you don't have it. So again, if you have it, don't ask for no discounts. But if you don't, trust me, I hear you. But it doesn't cost anything to like, comment, or even share their work. It costs zero dollars to do that. So I could keep going, but I think you feel me. Just continue to support your friends for real. Like continue to unlock their talents and push them to leave their comfort zones and create more. Anyways, as far as this print, which I'm mad excited about. Again, this was something that one of my friends Beatrice created and I purchased a canvas rather than just a print of the photo. Uh, this is the receipt here, cool. So she did it through Darkroom. I'll put her link, of course, uh, in a place that's easy to find, the caption description, whatever you're watching this on. And uh, this is super dope. Uh, I had never honestly purchased like a canvas of any type before for my room. So this is a look at it. In fact, I know it is washed out right now. I will just continue to talk about it and show some B-roll instead. But yo, this is super dope because it's always like the stories behind it. It's always the stories behind it for either art pieces or even just people themselves that I'm just always fascinated in. And something like this was really cool because Beatrice was saying that this was actually a product that came together a bit by accident. So the first layer is actually an image of hibiscus flowers found in Madison Square Park. And then obviously the second image is of the Empire State Building. And what was accidental about it was that the floral image was supposed to be over a different layer, but it was before she learned how to properly do like double exposure. But it turned out really dope because it gives me like a spring rejuvenation type of a vibe to it. So I've always associated the Empire State Building with just a source of inspiration for me. Um, couldn't tell you one reason or the other. I think obviously it's just more so because like New York City is just a really, really special place to me and always will be. So this was something that I wanted to have hanging in my room. Easily my favorite part about purchasing the canvas in particular is that it gives it some dimension. So what I mean by that is that it wraps around so the Empire State Building looks like it's contouring at that angle or at that corner of the print. So I'm really happy with it. Um, again, it was just something that I definitely wanted to purchase in a canvas style to be hung in my room. It was something that I wanted to see every single day because the Empire State Building, like I said, is that constant source of inspiration for me. So Beatrice, this is so fire. Thank you so much. Appreciate you making your prints and just your amazing talent available to be purchased. Same thing with all my other friends that goes for Anthony Holt, who I work with at Nike, who has an amazing collection of work celebrating African-American culture via his first catalog, Carbon, available now on Amazon that I purchased, as well as any of the other individuals that are creatives in my life that I continue to support somehow, some way, and vice versa. Those of you that support me, I appreciate you for real. Thank you for watching this. And again, support your friends.